on this week's KSP News Show. After a two week break, KSP News is back on the scene with some interesting new screenshots of the Mark III parts. And 0.9 enters QA testing. All that and more on this week's KSP News Show. Reporting live from the Kerbal Space Center, it's your host, Jim Lee Kerman. Good morning, evening, and afternoon, my fellow Kerbanauts. My name is Jin Lee Kerman. I am back after at what seems like forever. Seriously, I've taken a two-week two break from Kerbal Space Program news, and well, it was. Partly because of the, t the fact that I didn't have much time, and partly because of the fact that there really wasn't much news over the past couple of weeks. But I'm back, and we are back with a bang. Yes, that is right. Over the past week, we have had lots of information linked about 0.9, otherwise known as 0.26, otherwise known as KSP entering beta. So let's get straight on with the first one of these stories today. Now, earlier on in the week, um, on the Kerbal Space Program dev blog, a load of new images were released regarding the new Mark III parts. Yes, that's right. We have some more space plane parts being added in 0.9.0 to replace the old, rather basic looking Mark III parts we have at the moment. I think this is a brilliant idea personally because the Mark III parts at the moment as they stand, they just do not fit the look of the, the, the modern look of Kerbal Space Program, should I say. Kerbal Space Program has kind of moved on from them and just the low res texture coupled with their, their horrible little windows and their, the, the edginess to their entire design, it just doesn't look very well polished when standing out to the other Space Plane Plus parts such as, well, the Space Plane Plus parts. So, thankfully, Porkjet and the Kerbal Space Program developers have been at it to modernise these parts, so to speak. So I'm going to overlay the images for you now. Here is the first image of the cockpit. Now, as you can see, it is very reminiscent of the Space Shuttle. Um, I really like it, to be fair. It, it looks very similar to the Space Plane Plus parts that we already have. It fits in perfectly with the sort of art style they're going for there. It looks very reminiscent of the space shuttle, but instead of re-entry tiling, it has instead it has uh, aluminium sheets as if it's I don't know been patched together, and I really like that sort of look because it makes it feel like the Kerbals have almost sort of like I don't know banged it together or something like that in true Kerbal fashion because that's what Kerbals do, yeah, Kerbals. But moving on to the next image though, it is of all the different fuel tanks in the game. Now we're not quite sure if this is the extensive list of all the different um, fuel tanks and SAS modules and stuff like that that we have yet. Obviously there is a distinct lack of cargo bay in this photo. Um, but that might still be added, we literally just don't know at the moment. Like I say, these parts have only be just been modelled and tested in game. Um, so they could still add a cargo bay, but I wouldn't count on it because may perhaps the animation and stuff like that is perhaps a little bit more complicated than us randos just us randos might think. So moving on to the next one, it's another it's a shot of the adapters. You can see we have the normal adapters, so like the shape adapter to the 1.25, 1.25 to 0.625 meter adapters. Um, we also have this rather interestingly shaped sort of curved adapter here um, with a flat ridge but we also have a rather weird looking and I think it's kind of ugly um, a kind of weird looking sloping hunchback sort of I don't know what to call it it's a hunchback sort of adapter for the back now I think it looks I think it looks kind of um, kind of awkward that part. I don't know if it, if when combined with other things it may look a bit less awkward than it does at the moment but at least in its current state I think it could do with perhaps a little bit of work, a little bit of tweaking just to make it look just perfect and obviously we have the rest of the adapters to adapt it to the Mark II space plane parts and everything is awesome. Coming on to a couple of in-game screenshots now, we have firstly one of the experimental aircraft going under re-entry which looks very cool, I'm not going to lie about that. 
Now you can see in this image we have two crew tanks attached um, with two massive 3.75 meter um, engines which shows just how large these parts are actually going to be. Those are, I believe, the two NASA, the sort of like mid-stage NASA part, NASA engines that um, were added in 0.23.5. So you can kind of get a sense of scale as to how big these parts are actually going to be. I thought that they were going to be perhaps two and a half meters. Um, but obviously I was wrong because these these guys are huge and I wouldn't be surprised if they were very high up the tech tree in order for you to unlock them. But finally, we come to the last two screenshots. We have a airliner with more of these huge crew tanks, which I'm not quite sure how, much, how many Kerbals they're going to hold. I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess and take a stab in the dark and say maybe 8, perhaps 12. Um, but that remains to be seen, and we will find out in the net. Well, soon, soon, very soon, actually, because from what I hear, 0.9.0 is not as far away as you might think. And finally, obviously, we get a shot of an awesome-looking craft in the VAB. It's a drone airliner sort of thing. It's like a very large dream chaser sorts of style aircraft, um, with another one of these huge crew tanks and a pro body attached. So overall, I really do think that these look, these new parts just look amazing. And I honestly can't wait to see what you guys, and me, indeed, can build with all this stuff. I know I'm not much of a builder, but I know you guys definitely are. So if you'd like to send me some, when 0.26 or 0.9.0, whatever you want to call it, releases, send me some screenshots of what you've built with the, 0 point, with the um, new space plane parts. And I will try and I'll have maybe feature them on this show if I get enough entries in them. Um, leave a link in the comments to like your Inga link or something or other. You probably won't remember because this is ages away, but yeah. Moving on to the next article. So yes, on to our next news story for today, yet again on the Kerbal Space Program dev blog. Um, this is just a really quick tip before I actually go into the story. Um, if you're ever looking for KSP News and you want it right up to date instead of, instead of having to wait for this show every Sunday, simply follow the link I put in the description to Kerbal Space Program Dev Blog. Um, they do one every single Tuesday. They do a Dev Note Tuesday every single Tuesday. I don't don't know how you wouldn't get that. Um, Dev Note Tuesday. It's kind of an obvious title. Um, but they literally go through everything that they have done in the past week. Um, right down to like the legal stuff that they've been going through and all the QA testing and even the developers' personal lives from time to time. So if you want to, I w if you want to, I strongly recommend that if you want to keep in the know with the Kerbal Space Program news, then you go and check the link out down below because it really is useful and it's where I get all of my stories from. <laughs> so yes, let's get straight on with that story. In the dev blog, Ted, otherwise known as Ted, his, na his name's Ted, everybody. Um, he's one of the lesser known Kerbal Space Program developers, at least to my knowledge anyway. He is one of the, uh, the lesser known ones. But he states, over the past week, the QA team and I have been hard at work on QA testing 0.9.0 or 0.90 or 0.9 or whatever you want to call it. I really don't like the name 0.9 or 0.90. I prefer it when they give the updates names, but they only seem to do that when it's closer to release. A lot closer than it is at the moment anyway. But back to the story, he says, we've been testing out fine print and still have overseen integration into the main QA branch, as well as doing the same for Marco's building tags branch. Um, that's just a load of de dev speak at the moment. Um, as far as I'm concerned, none of that is particularly important at the moment, though it may bear some fruition perhaps closer to 0.9's release. Um, this bit is rather interesting though. Moving on, we've also begun to further QA on Mike's Kerbal Experience feature, going over the implementation, revised roles and effects, as well as other miscellaneous changes. He goes on to talk about the port, how Porkjet has been helping with the assets for the Mark III parts, and all that awesome documentation and stuff like that, as well as talking about some of his downtime. Now, the fact that they're adding Kerbal Experience in... Um, and the fact that that is already in QA testing, it shows that perhaps um, 0.9.0 or 0.9 or 0.26 or I just don't care anymore. Um, it does kind of show that perhaps, perhaps, guys, this update is not as far away as we might think. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to start 
um, people thinking that, oh my god, it's going to come out next week or something like that, because it's clearly not that far away. Um, not that close, sorry, my bad. But um, I think it could be out before the end of December, you know. I actually genuinely think that it could be out um, for 2015. But there is one problem about 0.9.0.8.15. I don't, I don't, this is the problem. The name isn't very catchy. I don't know if it's just because we're used to, as Kerbal Space Program fans, saying 0.17 and 0. Point something or other. Um, down in the low 20s, late teens, etc, etc. Um, I don't know if it's just because we're used to saying that, and um, it'll take a while to get used to 0. 0. 0. 0.90, but I don't particularly like that name. I don't, I just don't like it when updates are just given names. That's why I liked it um, with 0.24 and 0.25 when they gave us first contract and economic boom as the names. Um, and so I was thinking as we are perhaps closer to release than perhaps we thought we were initially, then guys leave in the comments down below if you could think of anything like a really good snappy title for KSP 0 0.26, 0 0.90, 0 0.80, 0 0.24, 0 0.8, or whatever it's going to end up being called. Um, what would you call it? Because there, there is lots of features coming on um, in this, and also KSP is entering into the beta phase of its development. So leave those in the comments down below. I do read all the comments, and I do thumbs up, um, thumbs up every single comment that I read, with the exception of spam, because obviously spam is, spam is bad. But thankfully, there is no spam on my videos, so that's okay. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all of the KSP news I've got for you today, guys. Um, hopefully, I should be able to um, get back to doing these weekly. But honestly, at the moment, um, I have I have very little time at the moment because I'm currently studying for mock exams. But I've already said these um, points before in previous videos in mission in my first part of my mission to Eve and my War Thunder video I did a couple of weeks ago. So if you want to know the full details on that, I suggest take, um, checking out the War Thunder video. Um, but until then, guys, I will see you in the next one. This is Jin Lee Kerman signing off. Stay classy.